good evening and welcome to Laredo, Texas. K West bringing you Friday night light action. It is your West Laquise Wildcats taking on the Laredo Alexander Bulldogs. We are at the Student Activity Center in Laredo, Texas. It's a little bit earlier of a kickoff time, 7 p.m. In Laredo, it's still 96 degrees. I am Joe Aguilar, joined by none other than Coach Rock. Going to bring you all of the action from this non-district clash between your Wildcats and the Bulldogs. Coach. Welcome tonight, Joey. It's, so, uh, it's an honor to be here with you tonight to witness this non-district matchup between the Wildcats and the Bulldogs. I know last year they played up in, in Westlaco. Uh, you know, the Wildcats came up a little short last year to these guys. So I guarantee they got a, they remember that kind of stuff, especially kids, you know, played on that, played at that game and stuff. So I know the coaches and stuff, they got these kids prepared to play. Uh, you know, last, last week they traveled to Corpus Christi and played a really tough Maynard uh, team out of Austin and you know got after him you know and i'm sure the coaches watched that film and saw things that they, that they did right and saw things that that weren't right and fixed those things during this week and stuff and they got these kids prepared to play a you know a, a, a very good always solid alexander bulldog football team well you mentioned that they traveled up to corpus christi to take on Maynard, and they were victorious in that game in overtime a 41 yard field goal from gilbert garza not only did he have to do it once, but he had to do it twice. Yes, he did. But both know. of them were good, so that uh, gave the Wildcats a victory last week. So they come into week two, 1-0. and oh, Alexander lost to Alice last week, 41-23. A very tough contest because Alice, they always have a good football team over in that yeah, area. Yeah, they know Coyotes are always really tough. You know, you, you, you talked about the kicker, you know. Boy, what a plus and a feather in your cap when you have a young, you have a high school football team, have a kid that can kick a 40, 41 yard field goal. That's just a plus for your offense, a plus for your team. And it's a big, you know, and I know that kid, you know, watched some things this week and stuff. He, he talked about it. he just wanted to have an opportunity to win a game for him and he did it. So and, that's and an awesome deal. That he did. You're talking about the offense coach. They racked up 317 yards last week. Ramsey Vasquez carried the rock. Had 110 yards on 17 carries and one TD. Russell Garza, he had 21 carries for 132 yards and two touchdowns. Also touching the football was Randy Cardosa. He had six carries for 30 yards. And Hector Muniz had just one carry, but that carry was for 27 yards. Alexander last week had 417 yards of total offense, 189 yards coming through the air, 228 yards on the ground. But they gave up 574 yards, 289 through the air, 285 yards on the ground. We're all set to kick off. Alexander won the toss. They did elect to receive. So Gilbert Garza will be kicking off. And back deep is the Bulldogs ready to return this one. It's a good kick. It's going to be fielded at the 10. The Bulldogs with the ball running down the far sideline. Wildcats wrap them up at about the 30-yard line. So that's about a 20-yard return for the Bulldogs. And so they'll take over for their first possession of the night from their own 31-yard line. Absolutely. There was a host of uh, Wildcats there on the tackle. Good coverage down on the kickoff team. You know, good job of uh, getting that stopped and ready to play some defense. Be nice for a big old turnover right now. Be something nice to, to dial up. So here come the Bulldogs. They are set to go. Yeah, Jay their, Santos is their quarterback. Yeah, they're in their one back spread. Here's a little motion coming on right now. Little uh, hand sweep motion. We're right there. Number five right on the play. Excellent job by number five. Jordan Velasquez stayed at home and made a big stop for about a yard loss. That's going to bring them back to the 30 yard line where it's going to be second down and 11. The Bulldogs are wearing navy jerseys with gold numbers and white outlines which makes it difficult to see their numbers because that white in the middle really makes that number just like look like one big blur from up here so we apologize in advance if we're going to get these names incorrectly but jay santos is the quarterback he's got one back in the backfield drops back quick out pass to the right it is caught that is Eichler Hymas. Yeah, just a stop pattern out here. Just a pitch and catch right there. Good execution right there, but a good stop by our secondary. All right, starting there with uh, number 40, 
uh, Irvin Marine on the stop. Haim is one of his favorite targets. He had three catches for 54 yards last week. Yeah, along with uh, Raven Figueroa. Good job by our secondary. It's third and picks up about, about third and three right now. So here come the Bulldogs, third down situation. Same formation, just the back on the other side. It's gonna be a long pass to the opposite field sideline. And that one is incomplete, a little too high for the receiver to handle, but a great job by the secondary of the Wildcats because there really wasn't anywhere to put that football. Nah, oh. not, not at all. You, you know, I, I thought there was gonna be a little motion there. Looked like there was some movement there, but no flag on the field. But hey, you know, long pass, great coverage. Brings up a fourth down. Looks like uh, we're gonna get the ball back right here. Great job by our defense. Good, good, good opening stop by the Wildcat defense. Three and out is something that you always want to do on that first possession. Absolutely. Camilo Pedraza on the punt for the Bulldogs. Back deep is Ramsey Vasquez. That's a low one. Yep. Takes a nice low bounce and Ramsey Vasquez picks it up at the 17 and just kind of wiggles his way through two defenders and gets out to about the 26 for a 10 yard return. Yeah, he, he fought for every yard he got there. He almost slipped through all right, and that would have been a great long return. Just, you know, you talk about Ramsey Vasquez, man, he's all over this football field. You're gonna hear his name a lot mentioned tonight. You know, he's the, I, I, obviously the heart and soul of this football team. So here come your Wildcats, first and 10 from their own 26 yard line. 10 away to go here in the opening quarter, still a score between the Wildcats and the Bulldogs. This is gonna be the first offensive possession for your Wildcats here tonight. Yeah. Really look up front tonight because, you know, that offensive line for the Wildcats, they come off the football and do a great job. Vasquez under center. He's got Garza in the eye. The toss is to Garza. He's hit behind the line of scrimmage, lowers his head, and is probably going to get to the line of scrimmage for no gain. Yeah, they're number 18 up there for the, uh, for the Bulldogs. Ryan uh, Ski no Skiafa. You know, did a good job coming off the corner and uh, making a stop there on the toss. Ramsey Vasquez is in at quarterback. That yeah, brings up second in about 10. So let's see what we got going here now. Got Randy Cardoza there in the backfield along with Russell Garza. Yeah, we got the stacked. And stacked Ramsey's going to keep it. He's going to run off the left side, turns the corner, gets across the 40 to about the 43 yard line, and that's gonna be a Wildcat first down. Yeah, yeah the Wildcats were in a stack eye left, actually, you know, a wide stack outside, and with the tall, uh, actually the quarterback snap, direct snap and run, tremendous run there by Ramsey, but some great blocking up front. Jonathan Valadez coming onto the field. He's gonna bring in the play for your Wildcats. Again, they run that stack eye like you were just mentioning, Coach. And they're gonna hand it off to Garza. Garza met at the line of scrimmage, but he is just a handful. He's, we saw that last week and we're seeing it again tonight. This is the second time he gets met at the line of scrimmage. This time he's able to pick up about four yards. Yeah, just some great effort up front. You know, lead, you know, lead right there by uh, Jesus Lozano on the right side, uh, along with uh, number 33, uh, Mario Trevino, you're going to hear his name a lot mentioned tonight too. Uh, just a tremendous blocker. Uh, good job at Garza. Like you say, he's always getting positive yardage. Edward Villalobos, the quarterback, tosses to Ramsey the tailback. Little spin move. He's going to pick up about two yards. That'll bring up a third down and five for your Wildcats. Yeah, the Wildcats were in the, uh, ran a power eye right there, a toss to Ramsey, picked up about three or four yards right there, but uh, good job uh, by the Bulldog defense uh, on, on that stop, you know, leading there what uh, Marco Alvarado on the, on the tackle. So third down and five for your Wildcats. Ball is spotted at their own 48 yard line. Clock shows through seven and a half minutes to go here in the opening period. So that stacked power eye again. Now they're going to go into a power eye left with Ramsey Vasquez in at quarterback under center. There's some confusion on the field. 
So they're going to call a timeout. The Wildcats are. So we're going to take a timeout with them. We've got 7.20 to go here in the first period. Still no score between your Wildcats and the Bulldogs. You're enjoying Wildcat football right here on K-West. Before Christine McCleary was a physical therapist, she was an honor student at Westlaco ISD, played sports, and was a cheerleader. She graduated from Ohio State University, then physical therapy school at Texas State University. Now she is Dr. Christine McCleary at Triumph Therapy and part of the clinical faculty at UTRGV School of Medicine. Westlaco ISD is home to some of the most prestigious graduates in the Rio Grande Valley. For Christine McCleary, WISD was the right choice. Welcome back to Student Activity Center in Laredo. Your Wildcats taking on the Bulldogs of Laredo Alexander. We want to thank Knapp Medical Center as they are the 2019 sponsor of your Wildcats. Tosses to Russell Garza. He's met hard behind the line of scrimmage by the linebacker Brand Brady Segovia. That's a loss on the play, gonna bring up fourth down. Yeah, ran, try to run the toss again to the outside right there, but like you said, uh, Brady Segovia was right, he read it you know, perfectly and actually made a, about a two yard loss for us right there. So brings up fourth down for us. Now we're gonna have to punt the ball away to the Bulldogs. Javi Garza on the punt for your Wildcats. Back deep is gonna be Nomar Garcia. Well, they're gonna make an adjustment and they're gonna bring out Jonathan Castillo to return this punt for the Bulldogs. Once again, we've got a timeout on the field. Not sure what's going on. Well, it looked like delay, delay of the game. game. There's a flag. I heard a whistle, but didn't see a flag. That's why I was said I was unsure about what was going on. But the referee just let us know what's going on, so they'll move that back five yards, and it'll be fourth down, and punt is away. Got us out with a good high punt. Castillo going to let that one hit. It's going to take a bulldog bounce, but a great job there by Randy Cardoza to stop it from going any further in the opposite direction. So this is going to be the second possession for the Bulldogs. They're going to start off at their own 28-yard line. 6-12 to go here in the first period. Yeah, that was a good job by Cardoza because that, that ball was taking an absolutely backwards bounce right there. So good heads-up play by Cardoza so they didn't you know, get any more yardage on that play. Still no score here in quarter number one. 6 12 left to go here in the first quarter. Bulldogs sending a receiver in motion. Handoff. Running back has some room. Cuts through the East Wildcat defense and picks up about six, seven yards on that play. Yeah, they, yeah they're just running a, a, you know, a quick inside zone play right there and picked up a good yardage right there. All right, the Wildcats are in their 4-3 defense right now. Uh, you know, they kind of move their defenses from sometimes. Sometimes you'll see a nose, somebody over the center, somebody's right. Right now they get their four-man front end. So, uh, you know, this linebacker's got to step up to make that play. And, uh, you know, they'll fill the hole here in a second. Second down and three is what the scoreboard says. Handoff is in. to Pedraza. Pedraza trying to fight his way through that Wildcat front four but they are not letting him get much. They're gonna get maybe one yard on that play. We'll see where they spot it. Yeah, They're gonna give him two. Yeah, tremendous job there by number 72, Isaiah Martinez. You know, he, he, he slanted off to that side and, and hit the back right there at the line of scrimmage and he didn't get very much yardage. Third down and one ball is at the 37 and a half yard line. It's gonna be either a long one or a short two. Gump was a quarterback. Ferguson in the backfield with him. They're going to send Pedraza in motion. Gump was keeping, keeping it. it. He found a little seam on the right side, going to get to about the 39, and that's going to be the first, first down for the Bulldogs tonight. Yeah, just direct snap to the quarterback, trying to find a hole. He gets in there, picks up the yardage that he needs. Um, but, again, the defense on a, you know, Real good defensive play there. You know, not much yardage right there, but they didn't need much to get the first down. So first and 10 for the Bulldogs. Ball is spotted at their own 39-yard line. 4.20 to go here in the first quarter. No score between the Bulldogs and your Wildcats. 
Campos to the quarterback, two receivers right, two receivers left. Pedraza running out. They're going to throw a little bubble That's pass fine. to him. Now the whistles are going to say it's an incomplete pass. Coach, you were get, beginning to say this, but that looked very close to being a lateral. It sure did. It looked like it was behind him, but, you know, I guess they got a little bit better view right there on the field with the with, with your officials, so they said it's a port pass and incomplete. But we're right on it right there. Played real good right there. You know, number 40 for us, uh, Irvin Marine, again, right there on the spot, along with Mr. Figueroa. And that's a play they saw a lot last week, so they're ready for a play such as that. Little tight formation on the top of your screen. Campos looking, throws the ball wide. He's got a receiver. It's caught across the 45 to about the 47. We've got a flag, and this is going to be a late hit on the Bulldogs. That play was already called dead, and the players were already kind of slowing down. Right. And then you just see a Bulldog continuing his motion, so that's going to be a personal foul. That was big. That's big for us right there. You, you know, that's the thing about this football game, you know, Every, play, every game, every play you have to do, you have to do it with great discipline and that kind of stuff. But kids, you know, they get all fired up and everything else like you know, coaches do too sometimes, you know, and then they just do a little extracurricular. And, you know, that's why the referees are out there to make sure that the game's played under control with, a, you know, a lot of sportsmanship and that kind of stuff because this, this is high school football. Third and about 17 for the Bulldogs. Same formation, this time they float everybody to the left. Under pressure is Campos. Got, he gets rid of it and it is caught in Wildcat territory. Mario Trevino in hot pursuit of the quarterback. Sure was, he's right there on top of it. You know, he just floats a pass in there and it just gets between two of our defenders and falls right into the hand of the receiver for the Bulldog. But uh, again, big play for the Bulldogs right there and it moves the sticks for them. Yeah, and that's the important thing is that it does give them the move the sticks and give them a fresh set of downs. Jet sweep for the Bulldogs. And it's going to be pass. a pass. And that is nope. Pedraza, and he is brought down behind the line of scrimmage for about a one, maybe two-yard loss. Look, who, look who's on there playing some defense, right? Mario Trevino, Mario Trevino. number 33, right on the play right there. You, you know, <laughs> tremendous job right here by him. All right. He's playing defensive end tonight also, so there's a kid that's a great athlete. They got him playing both ways. So he made a tremendous stop right there. Second and 11, they're gonna say he lost the yard, so they're gonna place it at the 44 yard line. Three receivers to the top of your screen. Ferguson in the backfield with Campos. Trying to draw the Wildcats offside with a hard count. Campos looks down to his sideline. Play is being changed at the line of scrimmage. Now they're going to call a timeout. They've got a timeout on the field. We're going to stay here, Coach. We've got 2.37 left to go here in the opening period. Alexander just picked up a big play, got the ball behind two Wildcats, had a receiver back there just sitting, waiting for that one. But Mario Trevino, as you mentioned, Coach, was hot on his trail and then comes back right on the other side to make a big stop. He, he sure was, you know, he, it, he came from the backside, chased the quarterback down. He was just right on top of him. But, you know, great hustle by Mario uh, and, and the whole defense there. But uh, again, it's second and long. Just, you know, no, nothing's hurt right here. We just need to play solid defense, make a big stop here again, give him in, get him in the third down and long, you know, and, uh, and play some good defense on the secondary part and get the ball back. Well, here come the Wildcats back onto the field. They are on defense, and you just mentioned, Coach, second and long. Second and 11 ball spotted at the 44-yard line. 2.37 to go here in the first quarter. Three receivers to the top of your screen, one to the bottom. Quarterback Jay Campos has one running back in the backfield. That looks like it's Ferguson. They're going to hand the ball off to Ferguson. To he is going to bounce it out to the left just a tad bit and then cut back right to the 40-yard line. He's going to pick up about four yards. He's going to bring up a third down and possibly six. Yeah, you know, Alexander gets in that bunch look outside and spread this way. And, you know, just trying to get the defense spread out to open up the middle to run that little, you know, draw that they like to run or the inside zone they like to run. So basically when you see that, it doesn't always mean they're going to throw the football. 
Now they're in the same formation, but just flipped it. So you got three receivers at the bottom of your screen. Campos trying to see what the defense is going to do. Decides that he's going to change the play, so that's audible called. Here comes the snap. He drops back, looking left. Now he goes right. Post pattern in the middle of the field, and it is caught. And that's a touchdown for Alexander. 39-yard touch, 39 touchdown pass to Iker Jaimes for the first TD of the night. Yeah, they just ran a, you know, a seam pattern. All right, got behind the defense, and, you know, and he threw the ball up there just perfectly to him, and he, he caught it. Touchdown. You know, well-executed football play for the Bulldogs. 6-0 is your score with a minute 45 here in the first quarter. Point after is pending. On to attempt the point after is Brandon Grajada. Grajeda, excuse me. Grajeda is the kicker. On the hold is Junior Rodriguez. We've got a flag on the play. Might be motion. Yeah, they, too many people on the field right there. So they, right, illegal substitution. Too many people on the field. So too many men on the field. As you saw one trying to get off after he was already lined up. So they're going to attempt this extra point from the 15. So it'll make it a 25 yard extra point attempt. Good snap, good hold, kick is up. It's long enough and it is good. So the extra point is good. So the score is Laredo seven. West will go east, nothing. 145 left to go here in the first quarter. We'll be right back, right here on k -West. Register now for Westlaco ISD all day pre-K and kindergarten. Come join our family and one of the many elementary schools recognized with numerous distinction designations for their academic programs. Registration is now taking place at the USDA building on 4th Street. Call 969-6670, West Laco ISD, all day pre-K and kindergarten, the right choice. Welcome back to Laredo, the Student Activity Center here in Laredo, Texas. Your Wildcats taking on the Bulldogs of Laredo, Alexander, 145 left to go here in the first quarter. Laredo just scored on a 39-yard pass from Campos to Jaimes. Point after by Grajeda was good, so the score is 7-0. Pooch kick. Pooch kick. It's going to be fielded at the 29-yard line by the Wildcats. Good return to about the 37, so that's 8 yards, and so the Wildcats will begin in pretty good field position from their own 37-yard line. Yeah, that sets up really good for the for the Wildcats. What we need right now is just a constant, consistent push drive right now and, you know, tie this football game up right now. Uh, this, uh, that's, that's one thing about, you know, obviously the Bulldogs struck first tonight, but here we go. Now it's our turn to answer the call. Let's go, Wildcats. Wildcats in a power eye left. Ramsey Vasquez, quarterback under center. Gio Guerra, the tailback. The toss is to Guerra. He's looking for some room on the left side. He's got some, and he's going down the left sideline. He's got one man to beat. He's at the 25, 20, 15, 10, and he's brought down at the five yard line. A great run by Gio Guerra. Yeah, tough run right there by Gio. Uh, broke some tackles, <laughs> did a good job. It all started up front with Mario Trevino and a great reach block and good job by our fullback outside and you know and just how hard Gio ran right there because he had to go through a couple tackles right there and he eluded them broke through them and bam right down there on the five yard line right on the doorstep to put this ball and to try to tie this football game up 58 yards on that carry for Gio Guerra and that's his first carry of 2019 the toss is to Ramsey Ramsey Dancing his way through the Bulldog defense, gonna pick up one, so it's gonna be first and goal from the four, I mean second and goal from the four. Yeah, you know, the Bulldogs are doing a good job of you know, getting a man up, you know, up the field and trying to get, so we're having to, you know, uh, cut the toss back a little bit tighter right there, and we're not getting the linebackers sealed quite, quite enough right now, but as the game will go along, you'll see that it'll break open, even on the inside seam right there. But Almost exact time on the play clock and game clock, so they may have to run one more play. 
So we've got this time Villalobos in at quarterback under center. The tailback is going to be Ramsey Vasquez. Tosses to him to the left. He cuts it up. He's in the end zone for it. Wildcat touchdown. Nice move by, by Ramsey right there. Came outside, planted with his outside foot, cut it back inside. Defense overshot, you know, over pursued to the, to the right side. Ramsey saw it, tucked it, and boom, touchdown Wildcats. Good job, guys. And that's something Ramsey does so well. He sees you over pursuing, and he can cut it back on a dime. Yeah, tremendous job right there. And, and good job up front of blocking, uh, like always, you know, with uh, Mr. Posadas and Lozano. Uh, obviously, Mario Trevino, tremendous job up front. Great hole. And got it out with the point after. Good snap, good hold. And the kick was way good. So now, with three seconds left to go here in the first period, it is now your Wildcats 7, the Bulldogs 7. What a great drive there by your Wildcats. Three plays, 67 yards. And of course, that one was started by that first play from scrimmage, that 58-yard run from Gio Guerra. Absolutely. You know, again, they answered the call. Yeah, you understand that he woke up, boom, answered the call right there. And 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 just, you know, a lot of people say, you know, you got to have a, a potent passing attack. And yeah, you know, passing's great, and you got to have that. It can get you quick yardage. But you know what? There's plays that can get you quick yards real quick. And you know, Geo showed you one real fast. And that we did see. So seven seven is your score. Three seconds left on the clock. So. If there are no penalties on this kickoff, this is going to be the last play of the first period. Garza on to kick for your Wildcats. Looks like back deep for the Bulldogs is going to be Pedraza along with Jaimez. Yeah, if you follow the Wildcats any at all, they're always really fast football games because, you know, they want to sustain a great running attack, and they always have. That's just been the model of this school. All right, so you can see that always quick, Chris, great football games. Here comes the kick. It's a good one. And that one's going to sail into the end zone, and that's going to be a touchback. And because the ball was not touched, the clock does not move, so we'll have one official play left here, barring no penalties, here in the first quarter. Yeah, good job by our kicker getting it through the end zone right there. Nice job uh, by number 99, Gilbert Garza. Uh, tremendous job right there. That's what that's what you want because they can't return it when it's kicked in the end zone. So Wildcats already lined up on defense. Bulldogs coming on to the field. Three seconds left to go here in the first period. Pedraza in the backfield with Campos. Yeah, they, looks like the Wildcats will change up their defense a little bit down there in their 3-4 defense. All right, you can see it with Isaias on the, uh, right on top of center. They're going to try to run the football. Nothing doing. Great stop. All the defense right there, you know, up up front by number 54. Great stop by Brandon Galvan, along with Isaias Martinez and number 40, Irvin Marine. There was no place to go, and a tremendous stop by your Wildcat defense. Loss of one on the play. Buzzer Sound says we're done with the first quarter here at the Student Activity Center in Laredo. So, so at the end of one, it is your Wildcat seven, the Bulldog seven. We'll be right back with second quarter action right here on K West. Welcome back to Laredo, Texas. We are at the Student Activity Center bringing you Wildcat football. It is your Wildcats taking on the Bulldogs of Laredo, Alexander. We are just set to get underway in the second quarter. 7-7 seven, seven is your score. Campo is the quarterback for the Bulldogs. Two receivers to the bottom of your screen. Hands it off to the running back, and that's going to be Pedraza. Pedraza cuts it up field and he's going to pick up about seven yards to get to the 30 well we'll say six to get to the 30 and that'll bring up a third down and five yeah good job by uh jonathan granados coming down and, and and making the play from his defensive end position down here 
tremendous job there, good stop. You know, they, they ran a little cross action play right there and came back with it. It's a little misdirection and, you know, good job and good stop there by Granados. Two receivers to the top of your screen, two to the bottom. Campos, the quarterback. Pedraza in the backfield with him. Snap, drops back a couple of steps, looking over here to his right. Now he's flushed out of the pocket, gets rid of it, sideline toss, and it is caught on the sideline by Nathan Hassel. Yeah, good job by their quarterback of, you know, <laughs> you know, he was patient. That guy said, got outside. A little, little bit of pressure by number 30, Granados, but he, he put it right on the money. All right. We got to get some pressure on the quarterback right now and, and try to flush him out and get him to. But he does a good job of running and throwing the football. Pretty impressive. They're going to send two receivers to the top of your screen. Hand off to Pedraza. He's going to try to bounce this outside. He does. Gets outside. He gets across the 50 to about the 45 yard line. 11 yard pickup on that carry. And that's going to move the chains again for the Bulldogs. Yeah, you know, we're right there going down the line, but you know, we just didn't make the tackle. We're right there to make the tackle, but he slips it, slips it, gets outside and picks up 11 big yards for the Bulldogs. So that's gonna bring up a fresh set of downs for the Bulldogs. 10.37, dear to go in the first half. 7-7 seven, seven is your score. Two receivers to the top of your screen, two to the bottom. Campos is the quarterback. He's got Ferguson in the backfield. Snap, Ferguson stays the block. Campos rushed out of the pocket. Yep. He's gonna run with it. He's gonna get to the line of scrimmage and slide. Yeah, he slides. He didn't get very much right there. Uh, great coverage downfield by our, by our, uh, by our secondary uh, with you know Mr. Muniz and all those guys. They did a good job of covering right there. The quarterback had no place to go. So he had to tuck it and run. Didn't get much at all. Good job by our defense. Uh, coming up and making a big stop. That was Animas coming up, which forced Campos to slide. They're going to give him a yard on that carry, so that'll bring up a second down and nine from the Wildcat 43-yard line. Looks like we're got you know we're in a cover two type look right now, and again they're on the sweep, right hand sweep, right there. Ain't much there. Got a penalty on the play. Looks like in the line of holding. That's usually what goes on there. There was the sweep to hustle, yep. and you you got it, Coach. That was holding, so that's going to be a 10-yard penalty. Going to scoot them back, and that's going to repeat second down, but it's going to be second down in about 18. Exactly. That's a good job by our defense. They were right there. You know, that that hand sweep, you know, that jet sweep is, is long and, you know, if you can get a crease, it's, it's a good football play. But if the defense strings it out and strings it out, you know, it usually doesn't go for very much. But I guess that's every, that's every football play. You do a good job, you're going to stop people. Again, they, they're going to send three receivers bunched up on the top of your screen, one to the bottom. Quarterback Campos drops back. Some pressure. He drops. He runs. He slides. He's going to pick up about seven, eight yards, and that's going to bring up third and about 13. Yeah, it looked like we dialed up a little blitz there with number five, Jordan Velasquez. Quarterback saw it, saw it coming, tucked it, and came back inside, and you know picked up a little bit of yardage and slides. Doesn't look like he, you know, you know, when he when he runs, I don't know if he's a great runner or not. But, you, you know, he's going to protect himself. I can see that already. We just got to get some more pressure on him and, and from every side. Same formation for the Bulldogs. Pedraza jumping out to the bubble screen. And that pass is in the air. It is tipped by a couple of Wildcats. Falls in no man's land. Incomplete pass. And that's going to bring up fourth down. Yeah, good job by Hector Muniz right there. Getting a hand on the football and knocking, and knocking it away. That's what your safety has to do. You know, you know, it looks like they're trying to exploit the middle of our defense right now, passing the football. Uh, Campos got a good arm. You know, but right now it brings up a fourth and long. They're going to have to punt the football back to Ramsey here. And let's, let's see if we can get a great return. As you just mentioned, Coach Ramsey Vosk is back deep for your Wildcats. Seven seconds on the play clock. They're still not lined up. And it reset before it got to zero. 
and this is going to be a rugby style kick or punt better yet and Ramsey fields it at the 15 dodges a couple of Bulldogs still on his feet gets to about the 23 that was a dangerous pickup after that first bounce yeah it was a good actually a good job by Ramsey picking up the ball it looked like he ran into one of his own blockers right there but then you know got around him and picked up some you know three or four yards right there still moving the ball forward so the Wildcats will get the ball at their own 23 yard line first and 10 8 14 to go here in the second quarter 7 7 is your score and we want to thank Nap Medical Center as they are the 2019 sponsor of your West Elite Wildcats all right let's let's get a duplicate of this last drive sustain the ball and let's run off this quarter Again, they've got this power formation. Ramsey Vasquez, the quarterback. We've got a flag. He's going to pick up yeah. about seven on the play, but those flags are usually in the area of holding. So we'll see what the call is. Yeah, that's it again, unfortunately. Yeah, they... It was crazy, though. You know, it came from the other side of the field, but I guess that referee saw something that we didn't see. But... Uh, Again, uh, you know, that time they, they, they do more that uh, kind of a, it's really not a stack, it's, you know, it's kind of a slide look with all your backs and stuff and Ramsey, you know, finds a hole, gets outside. It was a great executed run, great play, but holding. So we'll repeat first down, but this time it's first down and 20 from the 18 yard line. Wow. Villalobos in at quarterback. Four receivers to the top of your screen. Quick out pass to Ramsey Vasquez. Ramsey catches it, hides it, tucks it away. That's going to be a pickup of maybe six. Yeah, very much so. You said they get quads to the top and single recover, single receiver down here. Ramsey being you know a pretty good athlete, they want to put him on the island out here, one on one with the with the corner. You know that's to me that's advantage Wildcats if they can get that matchup. Now they show the same formation, but this time they flip it. So you're going to have four receivers down at the bottom of your screen. Ramsey up at the top of your screen. Yeah, you got to see what the – they want to see what the defense is doing. If they overshift over here, again, one-on-one -on -one coverage at the top. Snap, bad snap. Through the hands of the quarterback. And he's going to be dropped for a sack way back at the four-yard line. And it's going to be third down – and about 25. Yeah, uh, you know, again, you know, when, when a play starts like that and you get a bad snap and roll there, it's really tough for the quarterback. But, you know, he's got to compose himself, get the ball, throw it, throw it out of bounds towards the receiver, something like that. You know, you don't want to take a big uh, sack at that time. But they do it in the pros too. You know, it's, it's crazy, you know. It's a bang, bang, fast thing, but, uh, you know, Brings up third and, you know, very long. Ramsey Vosk is the quarterback. He is under center. Three seconds left on the play clock. Snap. Toss to Gio Guerra. He loses his footing, and he's going to fall down at the two-yard line where it's going to be fourth down and about 32 yards to go. So that's going to be a punt from your own end zone. Yeah, he, he lost his... <laughs> He lost his footing, but number 17, you know, did a good job. Uh, Braden Guajardo going inside and, you know, uh, and making a pretty good stop right there and, you know, pressuring him to cut real quick. So that's why he lost his footing. So the Wildcats will punt from their own end zone. Javi Garza on the punt. Jonathan Castillo back deep for the Bulldogs. They send pressure. Punt is away, it's a high one. Hits at Get the 26, it. takes a bulldog bounce and a good job by Garza, Russell Garza, to stop that one from going any further in the direction of the Wildcats end zone. And they're gonna spot it at the 25 yard line. So the Bulldogs will begin with their best offensive possession of the night and that is the wildcat 25 yard line you know no, no matter what position you get put in you got to come out and you got to play great defense right now and, and make a big stop which is easily to do all right it's easy to say it's harder to do but 
All right, this is a great opportunity for the Wildcat defense to stiffen up, make a big stop right now, and, you know, even get a big turnover would be, you know, a good game changer right now. Campos, the quarterback, hands the ball off to Pedraza. Pedraza leaping forward. He's going to get about seven yards, but I think I saw a flag on the play. Yeah, I did too. Maybe not. Okay, I saw something on here down here on the bottom of the sideline of the Wildcats, but I guess I didn't see a flag. So that's going to be bring up second down and about three for the Bulldogs. They're going to spot the ball at the 18-yard line. Campos again hands it off to Pedraza. He runs to the left side, and he is met that's by awesome. the Wildcats, Gio Barrera, who brings him down for no gain. Yeah, good job there by Gio. Uh, you know, just, just a great, great, great defensive play by Gio. Saw the ball, got in the hole. Filled the hole really quick and made a great tackle. So third down and about three for the Bulldogs. 4.20 left to go here in the second quarter. 7-7 seven, seven is your score. Both touchdowns came in the first quarter. No score here in the second quarter. Gampos keeps it, dives forward, gets across the 15 to about the 12-yard line, and that's going to give the Bulldogs a fresh set of downs. Yeah, the Bulldogs taking the page out of the, out of the Wildcat playbook, you know, just direct snap the quarterback, you know, find a little hole, you know, lower his head and picks up the three yards for the first down. So first and 10 from the 12-yard line. We are now under four minutes, 3.48 to go here before halftime. Bulldogs with the football at the Wildcat 12-yard line. Two receivers to the bottom. They're going to send Pedraza in motion. They're going to hand the ball off to Ferguson. He's going to go behind the right guard and pick up about five yards, second and five from the seven. Yeah, Ferguson took a little handoff there and, and did a little stretch play and then cut it back and found a little crease and picked up some, you know, good yardage for the Bulldogs. We got to stiffen up right here and try to hold them to at least a field goal try instead of a touchdown. 3-10 to go here in the second quarter. Gampus is your quarterback. Direct again. The direct snap to the quarterback. He keeps it, and he's dropped at the two-yard line. That's going to bring up a first and goal for the Bulldogs. Again, you know, they ran, they, they faked that little jet sweep and stuff. Quarterback kept it, found a crease. Picked up three to four yards again. Every time they ran it, they've been doing. They've been able to be, have some success on this. We really got to tighten down right now. Junior Rodriguez is the quarterback. They're going to snap the ball to him again, and this time I believe there's going to be motion there on is. the Bulldogs. That one took a little too long to develop, and you could only anticipate that that was about to happen. Yeah, there's split receiver out here. A little bit of movement right there along with their offensive line. Looked like several guys moved there. So that helps out the, the calls right now, moves them back. That'll stop the clock with 2.28 to go, but it'll restart as soon as they blow the whistle, and it just did. So 2.23 left to go here in the first half. Rodriguez in at quarterback. He's, another direct snap. That I'm looks sorry. like holding. But and then, yes, there it is. You, uh, you saw that one all the way, as yep. did I, Coach. And that was Pedraza in at quarterback. So they're rotating quarterbacks to run that direct snap, wildcat play that most people call it. And uh, that holding is going to move them back. So back-to-back -back penalties on the Bulldogs is moving them back. So they were first and goal from the one-yard line. Now they're going to be first and goal from about the 16. You know, it's it's kind of crazy when you see it. You don't see a much holding inside, but when the defender is trying to separate and he can't move and you see the separation of the hands, you can get the holding call rather easy. So again, that brings up a first and goal from the 16 yard line. 2-11 left here in the first half. Campos is back in at quarterback. You need to watch the play action right now. There it is. Slow snap. Quick pass out to Pedraza. Trying to get to the end zone. He is knocked out of bounds at about the three. 
There it was, you know, you know what I'm saying? Just a little outlet to the left. You know, you know, he's sitting over there by himself. You know, quarterback delivers the ball, picks up all the yardage that they lost. All right, now it's second and goal inside the five-yard line. They're at the three is where they're going to spot it. Clock stops as the action took them out of bounds. 2.04 to go. You know what's going to happen. Here's the quarterback again. That's Rodriguez in that quarterback. Not much there. And they stop him one yard behind the line of scrimmage. Exactly. Great job up front again by Isaias Martinez. All right. They didn't have much nowhere to go. But you know by the formation there's no backs. Everybody's kind of there to block for the quarterback. So it's not a no-brainer what they're trying to do. But a good job by our defense and a great stop there on the goal line. Brings up third in goal now. Coach, you mentioned that there is no one in the backfield with the quarterback, but they're also got a different quarterback. They brought in Rodriguez and they brought in Pedraza in for Campos, Running I mean back. for Santos at quarterback. And so therefore your regular quarterback ain't there and that's what they've run every time. Absolutely, they're going in their wildcat formation, you know, that kind of stuff with a running back back there taking the snap. You know, a guy that's a better runner, has better vision, you know, that kind of thing. So, obviously, that's what they're trying to do. Well, we've got 114 left to go here in the opening half. 7-7 seven, seven is your score. Third down and goal from the four-yard line. There's a timeout taken by the Bulldogs, so we'll take one as well. You're enjoying Wildcat football right here on KOS. Welcome back to the Student Activity Center here in Laredo, Texas. K-West bringing you Wildcat football. I am Joe Aguilar, joined by Coach Rock, bringing you the action. 114 left here in the second quarter. 7-7 seven, seven is your score. Laredo with the football. Third and goal from the four-yard line. Santos back in at quarterback. Ferguson in the backfield with him. A little bit of confusion as Ferguson was once lined up on the left, then moved to the right, then moved back to the left, then back to the right. And so the Bulldogs quickly call a timeout again. That's their second timeout of this half. So, Coach, some confusion there. Yeah, I see that. But basically what I, you know, what I saw right there, what's, what's going on is <laughs> I don't think they're going to run the football. Uh, you know, I think the Alexander was set up. They wanted to see what kind of defense or what kind of coverages that the Wildcats were in and, and to see what they're doing. You know, last time they just did a little outlet and stuff. Uh, we're going to have to play a little bit more man-to-man -man on these guys right now and, and, and stick to our receivers because it looks like that's what they wanted to do. Coach, you say that it looked like they wanted to throw the ball, but, and I think you are right because they brought Santos back in at quarterback. Absolutely. Gives them that option to do that because every time they've had another guy in at quarterback, whether it be Pedraza or whether they have Rodriguez back there, Whenever they've got those two gentlemen, it's always a run play. So here we go, back to third down and goal from the four. Ferguson in the backfield with Santos. Two receivers to the left, two receivers to the right. Snap is on its yep. way. Ferguson stays in the block. Passes a quick out to Jaimez. A little too far because he couldn't get to it, but because... Ramsey Vasquez was on that inside shoulder, so the only place to go was to the outside. Yeah, and a great job by Jordan Velasquez right there, getting inside and getting some pressure on the quarterback real fast. So they brought the linebacker right there to put some pressure on the quarterback, and the ball obviously sells too wide. All right, and it, you know now it sets up fourth down. Looks like they're going to go for it instead of trying to put points on the board. So big stop here, big play here for our defense. Same formation. J Santos looking to the outside, and he's got a receiver, and it's a touchdown catch by Jonathan Hernandez. So fourth down and four, and they go to Hernandez for a touchdown. They did a stop pattern up here and brought Hernandez all the way across from the other side underneath the coverage, and since we're in man, deep, man coverage, he beat the man coverage, and, he, and the quarterback just floated into his hands. 13-7 is your score, 105. Point after is pending. The Bulldogs are on the field, as are the Wildcats. So here comes a point after. Good snap, good hold, kick is up, and the kick 
is good. Grajeda with the second point after tonight. 105 left to go here in the first half. It is now the Laredo Alexander Bulldogs 14. Your West Oakley's Wildcats 7. We'll be right back right here on K-West. Welcome back to Laredo, Texas. We are at the Student Activity Center. k West bringing you non-district football, Friday Night Lights. It is the Alexander Bulldogs taking on your West East Wildcats. Kick is up into the end zone. It's gonna go out the back of the end zone. So your Wildcats will take over at their own 25 yard line with 105 to go here in the first half. They trail 14 to seven after Jay Santos connects with Jonathan Hernandez on a four yard TD pass on fourth and four. Yeah, there's two school of thoughts here, at, you know, as, as a coach, you got a minute, you're gonna get the ball back in the second half to, to start. Are, are you conservative or do you roll the dice? You, you know, that, that kind of thing. Or you try to put some points on the board. You know, it's always good to score if you can. All right, but this first first one or two plays will tell you a lot about this series. They've only got one timeout left with 105 to go here in the second quarter. Power eye right, handoff to Garza. Garza hit twice, and he's still on his feet to the 31-yard line. That's going to be a pickup of six. That'll bring up a second down and four. 55 seconds left to go here in the second quarter. Yeah, good side, good inside fold play right there. Uh, back to Garza, picked up some good yardage there. Here's that stack, wide stack that you like to call, Coach. Yep. Ramsey's going to run it. Good move. He's going to bounce to the outside, and he's going to quickly get out of bounds, and that's going to be a late hit as he was already pushed out of bounds, and the defender just continued to drag him down. Could be a horse collar. Let's see what happens right there, because it looks like he's from the back. I don't know if he got his hand inside the, inside the shoulder pads or not, but he did sling him out of bounds. So that's going to be 15 yards tacked on to the end of the run. There we go. So we've got 36 seconds left on the clock. Ball is going to be spotted at the 47-yard line. And we still have one timeout left. Now try to get some points, <laughs> obviously, because, you know, you know, it sets up nice for it. Now you're in, the, you're in Alexander territory, and you got an opportunity here with 36 seconds left. You need about 15 yards to get into Garza field goal range. So here we go. We are low as a quarterback. Ramsey Vasquez one on one, and there comes the safety from the other side, and he's going to intercept the pass and be dropped at the one yard line. Yeah, we'll try to you know run a deep fade pattern over here to the left side, but ball was overthrown. Safety was there, picks up the you know picks up the ball. Now it's uh, obviously the Bulldogs' ball on the two yard line coming back this direction. Yeah, it looked like they had one on one coverage, but the Safety got to see, I guess, with just decoying, knew, knowing, excuse me, knowing that they had Ramsey Vasquez on an island by himself, knew that eventually he was just going to start coming this way. Exactly. They just threw, like I said, that they're in a cover two type look right there. So uh, you got a void right here. Corners running with him. Boom, safety's over the top and did a good job of uh, playing uh, center field. So that's an interception for the Bulldogs. First and 10 from their own two yard line. 26 seconds left on the clock. Bulldogs up 14 to seven. They're gonna hand the ball off to Pedraza. Pedraza across the line of scrimmage to the six. What he did there was basically tuck the ball and fall forward. Exactly, there wasn't much room right there. Yeah, Isaiah stuck there, they stuffed it. Number 54, uh, obviously uh, Brandon Galvan right there on the play. And our linebacker stepped up and made a big stop. And but that's going to be gonna it for the first half. So we played two quarters here at the Student Activity Center in Laredo. It is the Laredo Alexander Bulldogs 14, your West Oak East Wildcats 7. We'll be back with second half action right here on K-West.
Welcome back to the Student Activity Center in Laredo, Texas. K-West bringing you Friday Night Lights. It is your West Squeeze Wildcats taking on the Laredo Alexander Bulldogs. We are just moments away from the second half kickoff. At halftime, the score is the Laredo Alexander Bulldogs 14, the West Laco East Wildcats 7. Let's tell you how we got there. Alexander won the toss, and on their second drive, Campos hits Jaime's 39-yard TD pass with 145 to go in the first period. Extra point was added by Grajeda, giving the Bulldogs a 14, I mean, I'm sorry, a 7 to nothing lead in the first quarter. Just a few seconds later, Gio Guerra, 58-yard scamper down the sideline to the five-yard line on his first run of the year. Two plays later, four-yard TD run from Randy Lasquez. Garza adds the point after, 7-7. And then the second quarter went scoreless till about 105 left in the second period when Jay Santos hits Jonathan Hernandez with a four-yard TD pass. Extra point was good. 14-7 is where we left off at halftime. And that's where we'll begin the third quarter. I am Joe Aguilar, joined by the Coach Rock here, bringing you all the action for tonight. Yeah, you know, right there, you know, towards the end of the half, you know, we had the football, we had a bad snap, we had to pump deep from our end zone. It sets up a short field for Alexander. And even though our defense really tightened down, you know, they were able to put some points on the board. So now we got to come back in the second half right now here and answer. Ramsey takes it at the one yard line, has a little bit of running group. He's out across the 35 to the 36 yard line. We'll see where they spot it. But it looked like Ramsey almost broke that one. Yeah, he almost did. Uh, great return up the middle right there. Sets up some pretty good field position for the Wildcats to start the second half. Well, as you mentioned, coach, they had the ball in the second half with time expiring. Threw one deep to the end zone, had it intercepted and the Bulldogs opted to just let the clock run out. Ran just one play from scrimmage before the time elapsed. So yeah. here come the Wildcats. Here come your Wildcats. First play in the second half. Yeah, Ramsey at quarterback right now. Again, a little motion here, a little hand sweep. It's, we got a crease. We got it's, a hole. Here we go. It's Muniz. He's got some room. He gets across midfield to the 47-yard line. That is a pickup of 18. Yeah. So Hector, in just two carries on the 2019 season, has about 50 yards. Yeah, just a great job of getting around the corner and picking up some great yards there by Muniz. So good play to start off the second half for your Wildcats. I want to thank Knapp Medical Center. They are the 2019 season sponsor for your Wildcats. In motion, Gio Guerra this time. Ramsey keeps it off the right side. He's gonna bounce it outside. He's at the 35-30. 25-20, he's got one man to beat. Five, four, he dives, waiting for a signal. They're gonna say that he was out of bounds and I'll wait for an official spot. I don't, I don't see a flag. But they're coming back to talk to this guy. Let's see what's happening here. There is a flag right, at the 34 yard line. 10 yard penalty, remains first down. Yeah, that negates a big run there by Ramsey. Just a super job, just a fake off the last play that they ran with the jet sweep, and, and Ramsey makes the fakes, gets in the middle, takes it a long way there, but the holding pill negates a big run by the Wildcats. So that's gonna push him back 10 yards. We'll repeat first down, but it'll be first in about 20, because it looks like they started the spot from the line of scrimmage, but then no, it's going to be first and about six. Okay, so it's good. they said it was down the field. I saw two different people moving and looked like the head linesman was moving back behind the line of scrimmage. But nonetheless, as you mentioned, coach, it'll be first and six. So here come your Wildcats. Little different formation. Guerra in motion. Same play, Again. Ramsey Vasquez off the right end. Bounces outside, breaks the tackle, spin move inside to the 28 yard line. Another big run again, a fake off the jet sweep again. Ramsey Tuck takes it, keeps 25. it, does a good job. The offensive line did a great job of getting up in the hole, making a great hole for Ramsey to run through. Good job on that whole right side there uh, of the uh, Wildcat offensive line. 
They're going to spot it at the 29-yard line. First and 10 for your Wildcats. Ten and a half minutes here to go in the third quarter. 14-7 is your score. The Bulldogs lead this one. We are just underway in the second half. Wildcats with a great return from Ramsey Vasquez, moving the ball, moving the ball down the field on the first possession. I formation. Got the ball carrier. Second man through to the 25. Four-yard pickup. Second down and six. Yeah, just a great blast pay there to Garza. Good movement on front, good push. Great first down run for about four yards there by Garza. Good job. The Wildcats got back in their eye formation there, which is their obviously their base offense. All right. It looks like the Wildcats come out here with a little bit more intensity, a little bit more fire here in the second half. And that's what we saw last week, Coach. We saw them make some key adjustments that really helped them get ahead of Maynard. So here's that wide stack that you call, Coach. Yep. This time it's a direct snap to Ramsey. He's caught from behind, and he's going to be dropped at the line of scrimmage. I'm not sure if there was a face mask there. Could have been. We got a, the, the back judge through the flag right here. Let's see what happens. He's talking to the to the head ramp right now and see what's going on. Head referee right now, see what the call is. Looks like we're going backwards though, so I'm not sure. Well here, well here comes the call. Probably holding against the Wildcats. Personal foul. Personal foul. Clipping. Clipping. All So that's a big one. Yeah, that's a that's a big that's a big penalty. But you know, here's where you got to overcome that. You, you understand? Get a big run right here. Pick up some good yardage, and, and just keep and keep moving. You got to you got to have a short memory when these type of things happen. You got to keep going with what you're doing, and they're picking up great yardage. They just can't make mistakes and keep shooting themselves in the foot. It's a wide power eye to the left. Toss to Gio Guerra. Cuts it in, hit by two Bulldogs as he crosses the line of scrimmage, and it's going to be maybe about a half a yard gain on that play. Yeah, a big play there by Nathan Vasquez, the linebacker, came up from came outside and, and made a big stop there on the toss. So now it's third and long for the for the Wildcats. Third and twenty is what it says on the scoreboard, and that looks like it's about right because the line to gain is the nineteen. You still got two downs to make this. And if they pick up seven or eight, they, they are in Garza field goal range. So here comes motion. Fakes the jet sweep. Ramsey keeps it. Breaks a tackle. Loses his helmet. And he's brought down. Yeah, they... There's, they came from the outside, they saw it, and they sniffed it out pretty good. Ramsey fought for everything he could there, lost his helmet, uh, brings up fourth down. Obviously, now we're going to have to punt the ball back over to the Bulldogs. So they're going to lose yardage on that back to the 45. You know, you just can't, you know, you're sustaining a great drive, great runs, all right, but you cannot make mistakes, all right. It's hard to overcome, you know, big penalties right there. Two or three large penalties right there that, that negated our offensive series. So here we go. The punt is blocked. blocked. It's still on the field of play, and the punter, Garza, smartly knocks it out of bounds. Yeah, they get, you know, they had great penetration right there and ended up blocking the punt. I thought it was going to be rough in a second, but he got a hold of the football, blocks it. Sets up the offense for the Bulldogs in great position. So, you know, it's just some costly errors, you know, there on obviously on special teams, but offensively, you know, have great momentum, moving the football, doing the things you need to do, but just that old flag comes out several times right there in that drive and just, it, it just hurts the drives. So the, bull, the Bulldogs begin their first drive of the second half at the Wildcat 31 yard line, Santos. The quarterback fakes the handoff, drops back, has time, passes deep, incomplete pass in the direction of Hernandez, but Hector Muniz back there with some great coverage. It was, you, you know, they did a little right off the bat, play action pass, uh, put it in the gut of the, of the running back, pulled it, 
and, and hit it. The receiver looked like he was running a little free right there, but it was overthrown and a good job by Muniz. Yeah, Muniz came over from the safety position to get out there in great position. So second down and 10 from the 31. Santos, the quarterback. Ferguson, the only back in the backfield with him. Two receivers to the top of your screen. This time they hand it off to Ferguson. He's got some running room. Bounces it outside. He's at the 20. Going to be brought down at the 18-yard line. Pickup of about 13 yards, and that's going to be a first down for the Bulldogs. First down right there. You know, did a good job of cutting it back and finding a hole. At, you know, getting a good nifty running there by Ferguson. Again, you, you know, the Wildcat defense, has the, you know, they have their backs to the wall right now. They have got to come up with a big stop right here. Hands Again. it off to Pedraza. Pedraza puts his head down and powers his way forward for about a five-yard gain. Second and five for the Bulldogs. Yeah, not much going right there. Uh, good job by uh, number 54, Brandon Granados, uh, Brandon Galvan uh, on the stop. They're going to give him six, so it's going to be second down and four. Two receivers to the bottom of your screen. Low snap, handoff to Pedraza. He's hitting the backfield, brought down at about the 10. Yeah, good job by Irving Marine right there on the stop. You know, he had him stop right there for a no gain. Uh, right there, again, got him stopped. The rest of the defense have to come in and converge and, and make the stop because he ended up picking up two or three yards on that football play. Yeah, he kept his feet moving and he got forward, so that gave him those two or three yards that you just mentioned, Coach. So it'll bring third down and about two from the nine-yard line. Jet motion, quarterback kept it. And that's going to be enough for a first down. On the carry. Looks like he just fell for it and picked up the first down. We'll see where they spot Real it. Real close. They're going nope. to say he's a little short. A little short. It's fourth in inches here. Yeah, fourth in inches. Come on, Wildcat defense. Let's go now. They're bringing in some pretty good-sized gentlemen onto the field. Yeah, they are. Looks like they got their tank offense coming in here now. Just try to pick up this yard and see what happens. It's going to be a direct snap again. They do everything out of the gun. So Well, they've got Pedraza in that quarterback now, Coach. Right. So he's going to so run the football. That's what's going to happen. Right there. And he's wiggling his way through the Wildcat defense, and he's brought down at the one where it's going to be a new set of downs, first and goal from the one. Yeah, first and goal right there. You know, Again, faking the jet, the jet sweep right there, and the quarterback keeps it. Kind of like what you just saw from the, from the Wildcats. They're running it the same thing. So it looks like they're going to keep the same offensive personnel on the field. Granados, I mean, I'm sorry, Pedraza still in at quarterback. Snap to him. He's looking for a seam to go in, and he's in the end zone. Touchdown, Bulldogs. Yeah, he's just trying to find a hole. He bounces it outside and he scores. So touchdown for the Bulldogs. And that puts, you know, the Wildcats in a little hole right now. It's, it's not insurmountable, obviously, you know, but this next series for the Wildcats is big. We have to sustain the drive and put points on the board. All right, so this game doesn't get out of hand for us. Well, Pedraza with a one yard touchdown run. Grajeda on for the extra point. You know, when you when you, in high school football, you have to be, you got to almost be flawless to, to to score points and this kind of stuff. You can see how quick a turnaround can be. That's a good snap, good hold, good kick. PAT is good. So with 4:50 left to go in the third, the score is now the Laredo Alexander Bulldogs 21, your Wildcats seven. We'll be right back right here on K West. Before Christine McCleary was a physical therapist, she was an honor student at West Loco ISD, played sports, and was a cheerleader. She graduated from Ohio State University, then physical therapy school at Texas State University. Now she is Dr. Christine McCleary at Triumph Therapy and part of the clinical faculty at UTRGV School of Medicine. West Loco ISD is home to some of the most prestigious graduates in the Rio Grande Valley. For Christine McCleary, WISD was the right choice. Welcome back to Laredo, Texas. K-West bringing you Friday night action. Your Wildcats taking on the Bulldogs of Laredo Alexander. They trail 
21 to seven with 4.50 to go here in the third. Kickoff from Grajeda deep, and it's gonna be Ramsey Vasquez one yard deep in the end zone, 25, bounces it into the middle. Met at the 30 yard line where he's brought back. And the Wildcats will begin their second offensive series, this time from the 29 yard line. Yeah, Ramsey thought he saw, you know, saw a hole back to the, back to the left, but the uh, coverage team for the uh, Bulldogs closed it pretty, pretty rapidly there. Yeah, they tell you to stay in your lanes and that's what the Bulldogs did. They stayed in their lanes and Ramsey came right to them. So first and 10 for your Wildcats from their own 29 yard line. This is a big series for the Wildcats. Yeah, they have to sustain a drive here and put some points on the board, but they have to overcome these little flags and little obstacles that are happening to them. So let's see what we can do right here. Timeout Wildcats. Timeout. Wildcats take a timeout, but we'll keep it here, Coach. You mentioned that the Wildcats, this is going to be an important drive for them. They trail by two touchdowns, 14 points, uh, after basically giving it up to them deep in their own territory because of a punt block. Well, exactly. Two, two miscues on special teams big time. That block, a short punt out of the end zone stuff, gives a short field to a good football team. And you cannot... Uh, you can't give any football team that kind of short field because yeah. it's so much easier to travel 20 and 30 yards to score touchdowns than it does 70 and 80 yards. All right, so the field position is being won tonight by the Bulldogs. All right, and usually that equates to the scoreboard, and that's what's happening right now. Yeah, you mentioned a good football team. A lot of people saw the score from last week's game and think it's going to be a cakewalk. You got to remember these Bulldogs are in the playoffs year in and year out. Oh, absolutely. So here we go, first and 10 for your Wildcats at their own 29 yard line. Quarterback hands it off to Muniz. Muniz looking for some running room. Now he's gonna turn it around the other way. He's got some blockers. He's at the 35, 40. Makes a spin move out to the 43 yard line. And that's gonna be a pickup of about 13 yards for Hector Muniz. Yeah, Muniz was very patient on that run. He came back around here on the jet sweep. He saw that the defenders were up the field, so he wasn't gonna be able to get the corner. Reverses his field and picks up some great yardage for the Wildcats. Just a very smart, excellent run by Muniz. Yeah, Muniz is averaging double digits every time he touches the ball. Yeah, I, yeah, that's why he's on the football field. Wildcats, first and 10 from their own 43-yard line. Vasquez, the quarterback, fakes the handoff to Muniz. He keeps it, bounces it off the right. He's across midfield and just marches out of bounds at about the 47-yard line. Got another flag on the field I, every time. And again, that's usually the area of holding. So that's gonna move them back 10 yards. So they'll repeat first down, but it'll be first down in 20. Yeah, look, <laughs> we got to, to overcome these penalties and stuff because you know, you keep, you, you cannot continue doing that kind of stuff. You, you, there are momentum changes, you understand? That, that kind of thing, what, what happens? All right, and it gives the defense life. And uh, right now you're moving the ball, you're moving the ball. You just cannot give them easy, free, uh, you know, 10 yard penalties on us. So here we go, first and 20. Fakes the handoff to Muniz. Ramsey keeps it up the middle. Spin move, 40, stays on his Still feet, running. gets to the 45 yard line. So he picks up about 12 yards and that's gonna bring up a second and eight. This time off the fake jet sweep, instead of cutting it back, he took it, you know, he took it play side, found a hole, ran up, and I'm telling you, just one tackle away from breaking that all the way to the end zone. But I like the way that he kept his feet at the 40, it looked like they were gonna bring him down, but the resiliency of Vasquez to stay on his feet and keep moving got him those extra five yards. Sure, you know, he picks up 12 yards right there on that play, so overcome the penalty, all right. Now it's second and eight, a little bit more manageable. He got that little spread to the left. Ramsey hit in the backfield, loses a few yards there, and that's gonna bring up a third down and long. Yeah, they did a good job right there. Uh, especially the corner, they came up and made a play. Number 15 for the Bulldogs made a, you know, an excellent 
tackle right there uh, on Ramsey. That's Marcus Torres. So third down and 11 for your Wildcats. 2.37 left in the third period. They trail 21 to seven. Same formation. This time they hand it off to Guerra. Guerra looking for some running room. He's got a little bit. Gets across the 45 to the 47. Yeah. Fourth and about seven. Yeah, it brings up obviously probably an obviously putting down. All right, fourth uh, in seven right now. Sitting on about their 47 yard line. So looks like the punt team's coming out. That doesn't necessarily mean they're gonna punt the football though. I was about to say, I don't see the punter on the field. Fourth down. Yeah, it looks like they're going Ramsey for Ramsey Vasquez in at quarterback. In motion, Muniz, he keeps it up the middle, across the 50, and that's gonna be about a, close. a foot short, depending on the mark. That's gonna be close. First down. They got it. Awesome. Great effort, great second effort by uh, Ramsey Vasquez right there on that run. Good job up front, creating a hole. The offensive line, uh, now, uh, uh, as you see, that fight, that spirit, it's there. All right, now, we got to overcome the little penalties that's happening that's hurting us on our drives. And here is a good test, Coach, about what you're talking about. If they can keep this going, because they got over that big penalty and they got first down and they're in Alexander territory. Guerra met at the line of scrimmage and is gonna fight forward for one yard. Yeah, again, just a handoff, inside handoff, right there, inside zone handoff to, to Guerra. Doesn't pick up much yards right there. The linebacker stepped up, filled the hole really well uh, for the Alexander Bulldogs. Making a few personnel changes are your Wildcats. Going a little heavier up front. Right, Anthony Vargas stepped up and made a big play right there on Garza to make the stop. Vasquez under center, power eye right. Looks like Guerra is your tailback. They're gonna hand the ball off to Garza. Garza, spin move, he's on his feet at the 40, and he's tripped up inside the 40 to the 38 yard line. What a second effort from Garza. Just kept his feet moving, uh, you, you know, and that's what you tell running backs and stuff. Just cause you're hit doesn't mean you're stopped. All right, so he keeps his feet moving, spins up, and he picks up that extra yardage. Now it's third and short, all right, and a great chance, two plays to pick up two yards. And that's gonna be the last play of the third quarter. So we head to the fourth quarter, and it's the Laredo Alexander Bulldogs 21, your West Police Wildcats 7. We'll be back with fourth quarter action right here on KWEST. Welcome back to Laredo, Texas. Student Activity Center is where we are at. K-West bringing you Wildcat football. We are just about to get underway in the fourth quarter. Joe Aguilar, Coach Rock bringing you all the action from this ball game here in Laredo. Ramsey Vasquez in at quarterback. Three backs in the backfield, right side. Ramsey looking for some running room. He's got some, not much but he's able to power his way down to the 36. That's gonna move the chains and give your Wildcats a fresh set of downs. Yeah, you know, just gut hard running there by Ramsey Vasquez. All right, he found a hole, squeezed through it, got a first down. Uh, right now, we gotta sustain, get this, get it in the end zone. Uh, these breaks that Alexander's been getting, we need to start getting some of that. Same offensive formation for your Wildcats, first and 10. Ball at the 36 yard line. This time they hand it off to Guerra. Guerra with some running room. He's inside the 30 to about the 27 yard line. Good tough running 
from Gio Guerra. Right, the big hole on that side, you know, by Pedro Pedraza, Pedrasas and those guys just open up the hole and a, a nice run there by Garza. Second down and two. Yeah, along with Jesus Lozano, they opened up a, a, a nice size hole for Garza to get through and, you know, pick up, you know, eight to nine yards right there on that play. Second and two. Same play, Guerras. Get to get to about the 26, and that looks like it's going to be another first down for your Wildcats. Yeah, we'll you know, see where they spot it. Exactly, Garza, you know, just a little bit more patience, and he bounces a little bit outside. He's off for a long run, but it's real close to busting here. But it looks like third and about a foot. Yeah, they spotted a little short of the 26, so it is short. So it's going to be third down for your Wildcats. 10:25 to go in the ball game. They trail 21-14. You know, they're, they're running a 6-2 defense right now, which is a, a lot of people who play the Wildcats, they see that, this defense, a lot. So here's Ramsey. He's still on his feet, off the right side, and he's inside the 20 to the 17. We've got a late flag. I think that's gonna be a personal foul, face mask against the Bulldogs. It sure does look like it. It's in that, it's in that vicinity where you see a lot of that happen. But what a great run by Voskis right there. Personal foul, face mask, number five on the defense. Half the distance to the goal, first down. Good call there, Joey. A absolutely, there was a face mask, so now you're gonna get half the distance this way and sets up the Wildcats inside the 10-yard line, first and goal. All right, and looks like they have a bulldog down on the field. Well, we've got a injury timeout on the field. We'll take a look, one alongside of them. You're enjoying Wildcat football right here on KOS. West Laco ISD is the right choice because we now offer open enrollment, free tuition, free transportation, access to award-winning UIL and extracurricular programs, and more for families in West Laco. And now anywhere in the Valley, WISD is the right choice. Welcome back, Laredo, Texas. K-West bringing you Wildcat football. Joe Aguilar along with Coach Rock. Wildcats first and goal from the nine yard line. 10.08 to go in this ball game. Laredo Alexander, 21, your Wildcats, 7. Villalobos in at quarterback, under center. Power eye, right, toss to Garza. Garza has some running room. At the five, takes on some contact, spins to about the three yard line, and that's gonna bring up a second and goal. Good, tough running from Garza. Yeah, and a great block there by Jesus Lozano on the right side. He took his kid, drove him, and put him on his back. That's a great job up front by the offensive line right there, but a great run by Garza. All right, and now we're inside the five yard line at the, about the two yard line and put ourselves in great position to put some points on the board. Second down and goal from the two. Power eye right. Villalobos under center. He's gonna keep it off the right side to about the inch line. Exactly, a little quarterback sneak right there. Uh, you know, that obviously a really good play right down there. Now it brings up about third down and probably, like you said, about a foot left, right inside the one yard line. Yeah, the ball sits. Yeah, the ball sits inside the one yard line. So it'll be third and goal. Ramsey Vasquez in at quarterback. He is under center. Power eye right, Garza the tailback. Cardosa right behind the quarterback. It's Ramsey, and Ramsey should be in for the touchdown. Yeah, it's it's and touchdown. the arms are up, and it's a wildcat touchdown. Ramsey Vasquez, one yard TD run. Great, great series right there by the Wildcats. Just typical Wildcat football right at you, right down there in the end zone, touchdown Wildcats. We got us a football game now, guys. Right here, it's 21, about to be 21-14. We get this extra point. All right, eight minutes left. We need a big play, big stop by our defense, get the ball back. It's got a heck of a football game. Got us on to attempt the point after. Good snap, good hold. Kick is up, kick is plenty, and the kick is good. So Garza adds the point after, and 8.38 to go in the ball game. It is now the Laredo Alexander Bulldogs 21, your West East Wildcats 14. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Laredo, Texas. Student Activity Center is where you will find us. K-West, 
bringing you Wildcat football. 8.38 to go in the contest. Wildcats trail 21-14. Got it on to kick off to the Bulldogs. This one is a good one. It's going to be fielded. It's not going to be fielded. It's going to go over the head of Pedraza. Going to go in and out of the end zone. So it's a touchback. Exactly. You know, looks like most of the kickoffs have been, you know, from left to right here with the wind behind the kicker's back. So about every kick that's been kicked tonight has been out of the end zone. So, again, th that sets up the Bulldogs on the 25-yard line. You, you know, this whole game, you know, offensively, the Wildcats have looked, they've shined pretty well, and then they've made some mistakes, that kind of stuff. Overcame some mistakes in this last drive and was able to put it in the end zone. Right now, you know, our defense needs to come up with something big. All right, and we need a short field. All right, that kind of stuff. When we can get a short field, tie this game up, or go ahead, you know, it's it's outstanding. Well, it all starts right here, Coach Campos. Slow snap, gives it off to Ferguson. Ferguson looking for some running room. He bounces it outside, and he's going to get about three yards. However, we do have a flag on the play, and again, that usually is holding. So hopefully that'll send the Bulldogs further back. That was a great hustle uh, tackle by Jordan Velasquez, number five. A tremendous job from his linebacker position. Good. That puts him in the hole right now. See, that's, that's what I was asking for right there. And we can get them pushed back, and they can make mistakes offensively, you know, and we can force them to punt, give us a short field. All right, uh, you know, it holds good for the Wildcats. Yeah, Jordan did a great job chasing Ferguson and didn't allow him to cut up field. Yeah, because Ferguson's pretty deceptive. You don't think he's very fast. That kid can run. All right. He's got good speed. So here we go, first and 20. Hands it off to Pedraza. Pedraza with some running room. He's across the 30, bounces it out. 40, 45, 50. He's off to the races. Animas trying to bring him down, and he cannot. And it's going to be an 80-yard touchdown run by Pedraza. Yeah, you know, he just took the ball, broke broke out, got in the secondary, all right, and, you know, and now ran the rest of the defense to the end zone. Just, you know, a big play, you know, there by the Bulldogs. 83 yards on that run for the touchdown. They're going to say he oh, stepped, he out, stepped of out of bounds. Yeah. So we're going to call that back to the 32-yard line. First and 10 for the Bulldogs. Good break for your Wildcats. Campos looking deep. He's got Hernandez. And that's the second time that they connect touchdown, for a touchdown. Bulldogs. Jonathan Hernandez, 32 yard touchdown pass from Campos. You see that a lot, you know, after a big play like that, you're gonna see a lot of teams are gonna play play action the very next play and try to hit you with a big with a big play down the middle. And that's exactly what the Bulldogs did. And the Bulldogs, they answered the Wildcats immediately, all right, with a you know a big, big pass play for a touchdown. So Grajeda on for the point after. Here comes the snap. It's good, good hold. Kick is up, kick is good. So 8.05 to go in the ball game, and it is now Laredo Alexander 28, Texas your West of East Wildcats 14. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Laredo, Texas. K-West bringing you Wildcat football. You know, the Wildcats, they don't have, you know, they got a lot of fight in them and stuff. This game is long from being over right now. Let's see what kind of fight they have. They're going to come back in this football game. Kickoff is in the direction of Gio Guerra. He takes it at the four, looking for some running room. He's at the 30, 32-yard line, and he's dropped. You know, uh, on that last score by the Bulldogs, looked like it was going to be an 83-yard run by Pedraza, but they brought it back to the 32 because it looked like when Animas pushed him, he stepped out of bounds, and that's, that's what looks like what happened. We don't have replay available to us right now, so... But Animas was chasing him down, and that's look, what looks like happened on that side. Yeah, so the Wildcats get it back first and ten from their own 33-yard line. Yeah, we need to we need to have sustain a drive right here and get some points pretty quick right here in this in this contest. We're going to need that. So we got to an answer. That's what that's what it is. You know, offense got to come out now and put up a big score. Here come your Wildcats first and ten from the 32-yard line. 
some confusion on the field as the personnel was running out there pretty late. Coach Burgett calls a timeout as, as he still has three in the ball game. So decided to go ahead and take one there with 7.56 to go here in the ball game. They're taking a timeout on the field. We'll take one with them. You're enjoying Wildcat football right here on K-West. Welcome back, K-West. Wildcat football, 7.56 to go in this ball game. K-West wants to thank Knapp Medical Center as they are the season sponsor for your 2019 Wildcats. Wildcats with a run up the middle, and it's a good, tough run by the quarterback, and he's going to get out to about the 37-yard line where it's going to be second down in about five. We've got a timeout on the field called by the referee, so we'll take one with them. You're doing Wildcat football right here on K-West. Welcome back, K-West bringing you Wildcat football here in Laredo. Student Activity Center is where we are at. 7.42 left in this contest. Wildcats trail 28 to 14. Villalobos in at quarterback. Gonna send Muniz in motion, hands it off. He's looking for some running room on the left side. Bounces it outside, up across the 40, pushed out of bounds at about the 44. And it looks like that's gonna move the change for your Wildcats. Yeah, good hard run again by Muniz. You know, when he hits that corner, he really accelerates well. You know, he shows that, you know, he's got some pretty good wheels on him. He's got some speed. So right there, it looks like they picked up a first down, but I don't know, maybe they're calling him a little bit short. Yeah, about third and about maybe a foot or two. Yeah, they're gonna call it short. That's the first time Muniz has carried the ball and not picked up at least double digit yardage. So third and one from the 42 yard line for your Wildcats. Snap is on the ground, Villalobos picks it up and he is met by a host of Bulldogs behind the line of scrimmage at the 40 and that's gonna bring up a fourth and three. Yeah, you see, again, everything starts with the snap in a football, you know, in an offensive football play. You have to get a good snap off, all right? When that happens, it just, you know, discombobulates the whole play. You know, that kind of thing. So uh, that's what you saw right there. But looks like the Wildcats are going to go for it. With 6.57 left, you, you know, they're saying, hey, you know, we got to get a first down, keep the, keep the ball. We need a low in snap. motion, another low snap. This time Villalobos picks it up, cuts it across the 45. He's at the 50, takes on a defender. He gets across the 50-yard line into Bulldog territory at the 49-yard line. Yeah, good hard run by Villalobos there. All right, and, you know, he took a low snap, no but he picked up, kept his composure, got outside, picked up a big first down for the Wildcats. And that's what they needed. They are two for two in fourth down conversions. If my memory serves me correct. I believe you're right. 6.22 to go in the ball game. Wildcats trail 28-14. First and 10, they have the ball in Bulldog territory. Hand off to Muniz. Muniz bouncing it outside, cuts it up. He's at the 48 yard line, loses the football. There's a scramble and the Wildcats are saying they have it. Yeah, he, they, the defender came up. The defensive end stretched the play, got up and, and forced Muniz to cut it back inside. Yeah, you know, looked like he lost the ball, but it looked like he got it back. So second down and about seven for your Wildcats. Ball at the 47. Bialo is the quarterback, Muniz in motion again. Fakes the handoff, he keeps it. He's at the 45 and he takes on about three Bulldogs to the 41. So Villalobos running with some authority here in the fourth quarter. He sure is. Villalobos, good size, young man, you know, right there, faked the jet sweep, took it up and ran extremely hard. Come up now, third and about one, one and a half, uh, and two downs here to make this first down. So changing the formation up a little bit. Villalobos out here on the right. Looks like he went to the Wildcat look right here and put Gio in the quarterback. He's got it. He's gonna bounce it out to the outside. 
but he looked like it was Garcia that came up from a safety position and, and just took his 25. legs out from underneath no him, Garcia. and that's going to be no gain. No gain. Yeah, it was play. number 25. Yeah, like like you said, Nomar Garcia came shot through and, you know, made a big stop there on the Wildcat formation. And before Gio could even get started, he was right on his legs real fast. Yeah, it's kind of hard to not remember that name, Coach, if you're a baseball fan. Think about the Red Sox. No more Garcia. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so anyways, nonetheless, that is no gain on the play, and that will bring up a fourth down and two. We're going to take a timeout. Is they're going to take a hydration timeout on the field. So we'll be right back with fourth quarter action right here on K-West. Before Clarissa Renteria was a dentist, she was a student at Westlaco ISD. She was a cheerleader, played softball, and started college early through the dual enrollment program. She graduated from UTPA before earning her degree from the University of Texas School of Dentistry in Houston. Now she is Dr. Renteria, creating beautiful smiles at Professional Dental Group. Westlaco ISD is home to some of the most prestigious graduates in the Rio Grande Valley. For Dr. Clarissa Renteria, WISD was the right choice. Welcome back to Laredo, Texas. K-West bringing you Wildcat football. Wildcats, fourth and two from the 39-yard line of the Bulldogs. Five minutes left on the clock. They trail 28 to 14. Ramsey Vasquez in at quarterback. He is under center. I formation. And that's going to be a motion against your Wildcats. And that's going to move it back five yards. False start. Offense, number 61, five-yard penalty, remain fourth down. Man, we have had a barrage of mistakes tonight. Yeah, you know, that, that kind of thing on, five you know, li little stuff that, you, you know, you just cannot have happen, in, you know, in these situations in the football game. You, you know, and, and it's tough, you know, it's, it, especially offensive linemen, it's, 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 sometimes it's very hard, but these are the times when you really got to buckle down, you have to be very disciplined, all right, and it's, it's you know, but now we got to overcome this and pick up this six, seven yards. Fourth and seven. Muniz in motion. Hand off to Muniz. He breaks the corner. 45, 35, inside the 35 yard line to the 32. Muniz doing what Muniz does so well, like carrying the ball for double digit yardage. Yeah, that was, <laughs> that was a great play. That's a way to overcome it right there. Good job of Mr. Muniz. And the rest of the offensive line right there, there made up for that big, you know, mistake right there, but the chains are moving, you know, and the Wildcats are moving. First and 10 for your Wildcats. Coach, you talk about the line and how well they did. Muniz wasn't touched till he chaos the 35 yard line. This time the quarterback, Ramsey Vasquez, takes it up the right side, gets inside the 30 to the 29 yard line for a pickup of three. Let's go back to that Muniz play, Coach. You were talking and, and just hailing that line and, and Muniz, as we just mentioned, wasn't touched till he crossed the 35 yard line. Exactly, which was, you know, it, it was a great call and a great run by Muniz right there. A well executed football play it keeps the ball in the hands of the Wildcat offense. So this time they hand it out to Muniz and this time the Bulldogs are waiting for him and they bring him down behind the line of scrimmage for about a four yard loss and that's gonna bring up third and nine. Yeah, number 44 stayed home right there that time. All right, and there was a you know big loss right there with Brandy Segovia. All right, just a tremendous job by the outside linebacker. So third down and nine for your Wildcats. Vasquez the quarterback. Wind picking up here in the Laredo. Vasquez keeps it, looking up the middle, gets to the 30, two yard pickup. That's gonna bring up a fourth and about seven, maybe eight yeah. for your Wildcats. Again, not much running room right there that time. You, you know, pretty well defended by the front guys and the linebacker crew for the uh, Alexander Bulldogs. 3.23 left in this contest. Clock continues to move. This is a big, this big time in the game right here. We need to get, we need to get this first down and keep the chains going. So here we go, fourth down for your Wildcats. Muniz in motion, fakes the handoff. Ramsey 
inside the 25 yep. 20 and you said it coach we need to keep the chain moving and i think Vasquez heard you see, and he got the change moving see that time same football play but he took it play side instead of cutting it back side all right and there was a big hole to that to the left side right there open up you, you know by the offensive line for the wildcats so again we got 250 left in this contest we need to put it in the end zone here pretty quickly and get the ball back Wildcats with the football and a fresh set of downs. 240 left in the ball game. First and 10 from the 18 yard line. Vasquez, the quarterback under center. Power eye left formation. Toss to Gio Guerra. Looking for some running room. He is caught from behind and brought down after a short gain of about two. They're going to say the 16. They got a good kick out block by the fullback, but the safety came up and made the play on Gio. So we picked up a couple yards right there. There was a hole there, but we got to get somebody off into the second, into the second level to block off the second and third level. But up front, it was blocked well. Two minutes left in this contest. Ramsey Vasquez, the quarterback. I'm not sure if that was by design or if that was a muff snap, but he just decided to keep it and move forward. He got one yard, that'll bring up third and seven yeah if you look inside real quick you, you know they they've scouted they've scouted these pretty well because i noticed in this situation their, their front guys they're running the 6-2 defense and they're really pinching hard inside with the tackles and they're coming hard and low so it's kind of hard for him to get a little crease on this quarterback sneak 125 to go ramsey vasquez hands it off to geo guerra geo with Step some on. running room 15 to the 14 and he's gonna be a yard short of the first down, fourth and about a yard. Yeah, it's gonna be real close. Good hard run there. Looks like we got an Alexander Bulldog down. So we've got a official timeout on the field. We'll take one with them. You're enjoying Wildcat football right here on K-West. Before Rene Inihosa became a business executive, he was a student at Westlaco ISD. He participated in UIL academics, designed the original Wildcats logo, was an all-state academic middle linebacker. He then played for the Longhorns, graduating with a business degree from UT. Now he's the director of strategic development at Doctors Hospital at Renaissance. Westlaco ISD is home to some of the most prestigious graduates in the Rio Grande Valley. For Rene Inihosa, WISD was the right choice. Welcome back, Laredo, Texas, Student Activity Center. k West bringing you Wildcat football. 107 left to go in this contest. Bulldogs leading your Wildcats 28-14. Fourth and one for your Wildcats from the nine yard line. Yeah. Ramsey Vasquez, the quarterback. Yeah, short yardage right here. We need to get a first down so we can get in here. Ramsey takes the ball. Bounces right, it out, bounces cuts it up out. field, touchdown. touchdown. There Wildcats. you go. Great patience, great run by Ramsey. Right there, saw his hole, bounced out, cut back inside, and put it in the end zone. You know, and, and that's an exclamation mark right here. You got 56 seconds left. You got 56 ticks left at the clock. You never know. So it, it's 28, 20 right now with the extra point, 28, 21, and uh, probably going to see an onside kick more more than likely. Looks like they're going for two, coach. Got Ramsey Vasquez in at quarterback. Takes it, looking to his right, he's gonna run. He's keeping he's his feet moving, he's fighting. and he's fighting, he's and he's in the end Good zone job. for the two-point conversion. Yeah, <laughs> they hit him short right there, but that kid's got such a great heart, and a big heart, all right? And there's so much fight left in the Wildcats, that kind of thing, even though, you know, they've had to overcome a lot of mistakes tonight, and there's a lot of things that they have to correct. As the coaching staff, they'll evaluate this film and look at a bunch of stuff and see. But you know what, again, this game's not over. There's 56 seconds left in the game. Let's see what the Wildcats have right here to do, what they want to do on this uh, on this kickoff. And, and you never know. We get a good uh, onside kick, get the ball back, still have the chance to uh, go down and score and win the football game. Yes, Coach Ramsey Vasquez with some grit, some determination, and of course a little help from his friends to get into the end zone for that two-point conversion. Absolutely. Uh, Looked like the whole right side of the offensive line was kind of helping him in. 
So good job right there. And, and that was a well-executed drive right there where we had to go make two first downs and fourth down uh, and that kind of thing. So, you know, they did a good job right there. You know, like I said, they, they never stopped fighting. You know, this is a, good, this is a well coached football team, both actually two well coached football teams tonight. You, you know, I'm pretty impressed with what the Bulldogs have done too with, with their passing game. Compost, you know, got a good arm, did a good job tonight. But, you know, the, our Wildcats, they never die. They just keep fighting. They're going to get better. Even these last seconds, they're going to get better as a football team. Looks like the Bulldogs are going to call a timeout, Coach, with 56 seconds left in this contest. They're probably anticipating an onside kick. And the way that the football is set up, it looks like that is what's going to happen. Yeah, I mean, that's what you do. You try to win the game. Uh, it doesn't matter if there's one second left on the clock. You try to win a football game. And, and, and that's what it's all about, all right, because th that's what you work hard for, you know, every week, you, you know, to win football games. So, uh, you, you know, th this is what you do. So 56 seconds left on the clock. Wildcats going to be kicking off to the Bulldogs. They trail 28 22 after scoring on a nine yard quarterback keeper from Ramsey Vasquez and then a two point conversion. Ramsey Vasquez keeps it, fights his way into the end zone. Two point conversion is good. 28 22 is your score. So here come your Wildcats. Well, the Bulldogs definitely have their hands team in. Let's see what they've worked it or not. Let's see what we got Garza. here. Good it's a bounce. Good, it's a bounce and a good job by the Bulldogs to grab it and just fall on the ground. So they'll keep it with 54 seconds left in the contest. Yeah, we got the bounce right there, but it bounced, bounced right back into the hands of the Bulldogs. All right, and obviously, you know, they got the ball. So, you know, hats off to, the, to our kickoff team. You know, they did what they were supposed to do, but it just, you know, fell into their hands. 54 seconds. Looks like they're lining up in victory formation. With the Wildcats having exhausted all their timeouts, they can't stop the clock. Campos takes it and he'll take a knee. 50 seconds to go in the ball game. So they'll actually have to run one more play before this one can be called officially over. Four second differential from the play clock and the game clock. Campos takes it, takes a knee. And that's gonna be the last snap of the ball game because they do not have to take another snap. Both teams coming to the sidelines and they'll get set to line up and shake hands. We're waiting for the clock to expire to be officially over. Five seconds left on the clock. Yeah, you know, the, uh, again, the you, you know, a lot of good, there's actually always good and bad in every football game that you see. But, you know, there's a lot of little things that the Wildcats need to shore up for, for you know, for next week's uh, football game next Saturday when we had to travel to Brownsville to play Hannah. Uh, but, you know, you got them on film. That's that, that's the biggest thing. You get your kids on film, you see things, you make you, you make corrections. But you know, it's high school football. It's never gonna be perfect, uh, you, that kind of stuff. You try as hard as you can to be as perfect as you can. But a, a lot of little miscues tonight that hurt the Wildcats, but they'll learn from it, go back, come back next week better, get after the Hannahs, win that game. But again, this is the second preparation for our district, all right? So, uh, you, you know, keep your head up, Wildcats, keep fighting. You show that spirit that toward the end of the game, you kept fighting, you kept getting after it. But hey, you know, next week, great week of practice, prepare for the Eagles, let's get after it, let's get a win next week. I'm well, proud of you, Cats. That's going to do it from the Student Activity Center in Laredo, Texas. <coughs> For K West, we want to thank Don Ramirez, Val Zamora, Mike Gonzalez, and of course, Coach Rock, Joe Aguilar, saying good night, where once again the final score is the Laredo Alexander Bulldogs 28, your West Coast Wildcats 22. We'll see you next week.
from Sands Memorial Stadium in Brownsville when your Wildcats take on the Hannah Eagles. Good night.